Hi, we're back with more Mother 3. So now Ionia is going to explain to us about the stuff. I need to tell you about the needles. Or should I say, I need to tell you about the needles. <sighs> I'm just going to take it on faith here that this is actually a narrator and not her talking. But, whatever. Because I'm not doing all this in that girl voice, sorry. You know that looks like a bridge back there or something? I don't know. First know this, there are specially protected these are specially protected island. We reside upon these islands together with a limitless power. That power is the dragon that sleeps in the darkness under the island. You mean in the water. The dragon is incredibly large. No! About as large as all these islands put together. What? Because the dragon is asleep, these islands are protected from disaster. But its power is too great for humans to control. It was for this reason that our ancient Magipsy ancestors placed seven needles in the dragon to make it sleep. One needle for each Magipsy. So basically acupuncture. Okay, for a very, very long time we have continued to guard the needles. But it has been told that someone to wake the dragon will appear when its power is needed. However, if the one who needs the dragon's power has a heart of evil, that power will irrevocably obey all that is evil. It's very possible, however, that everything could be completely destroyed simply to satisfy wicked ambition. Yeah, you said it. On the other hand, the exact opposite is what we hope for. If a person with a heart of good pulls the dragon's needles and uses power, the fate of all evil will be washed away, and all life as we know it will shine brightly. That is what is told. Finally, listen to this without concern. What? When each of our seven needles is pulled, we Magipsies will cease to be our millennia-long lives over. Isn't that just romantic of us? I guess. Yeah, so that's pretty much the world for you right there, in a nutshell. Or on a TV screen, or a computer screen, as it were. Yeah! Thank goodness that only took two minutes. There's one other legend. It says only those with the power of PK Love can pull the seven needles. Not even we Magipsies have that ability. In other words, you're able to pull the needles because you're a chosen boy. Why am I facing away from you? Who else besides you could have pulled this needle? Well, who else knows PK Love? Hmm. Cell phone? <laughs> Love the ringtone. C -c Commander, please hurry here. We've located the next needle. But, but, but the monkey. We need the monkey. The monkey can open it. Oh, what a pain in the neck. Anyway, the monkey's the key. I'll explain the details later. Please come to the Chimera Lab. I assume you know where the Chimera Lab is, right? Yeah, I know where it is. Huh? Commander, your voice sounds kind of cheery today. Well, anyways... Actually, to be honest, I'm having a hard time remembering it myself. You take the crossroad train to the factory, and when you arrive, you go west from the railway station behind the factory, right? Yeah. Thank you! I'm heading to the Chimera Lab right now. There's a monkey, and trouble, and a needle. Please hurry and panic too, Commander. <laughs> yeah, sure. Got a transceiver. I don't think it's loaded, kid. Here we go. What now? What's up? You okay? Not that I care. That ladder is a shortcut back to Tasmili. Head there. I'm worried about my own needle now. Yeah, I'm sure. Because nobody calls me chicken needles. Nobody! I just know we'll meet again. But if we don't, then that means one of us has left this world. <laughs> bye bye. Nice stance there, and then she floats away like a piece of paper. Or he, it, whatever. Okay, so there's really nothing else to do here. I don't think there is. No problem here. You can't get into the castle by some secret entrance. And you know, like I said before, even if there was one, everybody would know about it now, so... Climbing the ladder at mock speed here. And strangely enough, heading back into a... an area that looks... You unlocked the door! I forgot where I got the key to do that. Oh, great! Well, I was looking forward to more battles, and was wondering if we were ever gonna fight again, actually. I'm trying to think if there was like anything else down here. I, I, get, I think you get everything with Salsa and Facade, so... A bro team suddenly attacked. Hmm. Oh yeah! They became tame before they even got a chance to do anything. How pathetic. Inside the present there was some beef jerky. You take that beef jerky, Boney. Oh, skeleton. Let's check it out. Why is he running away? 
Oh, because I'm too overleveled for him to fight me, I guess. Go figure. When will I not be overleveled? I don't know. I think I'm pretty much average for this point in the game. Par for the course, it really. It's more of those dancing montages. Everything seems to be pointing to salsa here. Okay, we got a nut cookie, like we really wanted that. I suppose anything's better than nothing, though. Hey, ghosty. What? Oh, hello. Oh my god, how easy can that get? Dude, do I see a ghost in the background? Yeah, I think I do. Alright, we're out of here. <laughs> I forgot these guys came back, well, as long as the pig masks aren't here. Weren't they here at the beginning of the chapters? What were they doing here? I forget. Well, they were probably here for the needle. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Jeez. It's chapter 7. We haven't visited Mommy's grave yet. Should we go? Well, it's not really an option here. We have to this time. Bony's like, come with me, come with me. I know we just talked to Mommy, but we gotta go see her. Again. Nippolite is here. Lucas, have you seen Flint? He was just here visiting Hinama's grave. He's probably headed back into the mountains yet again to look for Klaus. Well, that's a pisser. Three years. Look for Klaus. Visit Hinawa's grave. Look for Klaus. Visit Hinawa's grave. That's all your old man does anymore. Wow, so... His only salvation is you, Lucas. You've grown so strong that Flynn doesn't need to worry anymore. You've grown up to be a truly good lad. Well, thank you. Here, Flint gave me this. He asked me to give it to you next time you came by. Supposedly, it's a good luck charm, your pop's treasure, since he was a boy himself. Got a courage badge! Hmm, strangely enough, Flint is always offering flowers. Sunflowers, he now wants favorite. I suppose there's probably... Hinawa may be gone, but even now she's watching over you and your family. Well, at least these characters in their world have proof of it. <laughs> I wouldn't worry so much if I was them. The remnants of my humble abode, no tourist. Yeah, where's the thank you from everybody for me stopping the Thunder Tower, you know? It's like you think we'd get some gratitude for that, but no. Everybody just go fumbles on their merry way. Well, that's probably why they left. Maybe we were too late. Oh, great. Getting another call on that transceiver. Hello. Commander? But where are you? Dakota? No, no, I'm just spouting nonsense. Everyone is waiting at the Chimera Lab. I still haven't arrived yet, though. The, the, the reason being that I forgot how to get there. I mean, I understand the directions, but... To get to Chimera Lab, you take the crossroad train to the factory and then head west from the rope race station. The problem is that I don't know where I am right now. Hello? Are you alright, Commander? I... Oh, 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 I see the Chimera Lab now. You were right. You take the crossroad train... Blah, blah, blah. I know. They give you this directions like three times. They don't want you to forget. Basically, it's over by where Club Titty Boo is. It's not a big deal. I guess you could take the train. I don't know if I have DP for that. And even if I did, I don't know if I'd want to spend 5000 The reason he wasn't letting me go on earlier, even though I had the 2500 GP, is because it's actually 2500 per character, so trains are much less ex exhausting than walking. They're so inexpensive and inviting. You're 50 DP. Really? I suppose. In that case, how about taking the green train? The green one costs a little bit more, though. Yeah, let's do it. Huh, really? And it'll be 200 DP for two tickets. Please get on before you change your mind. Alright. I don't think I've ever done this. Hey, this is going to be cool. I don't suppose we get a cutscene here. I don't know. I th Did Chaka Conroy do this? Because I don't remember seeing this ever before. All aboard! Huh. Here we go. We kick back, relax, have a few drinks. Sounds good to me. It's awful nice of them to let dogs aboard the train. I mean, is this too much of a... Am I giving myself over to technology too much to be taking this train? I'm sure is what Lucas is thinking. You know, because he doesn't want to be too much... Doesn't want to grow too dependent on it. Then again, it's ironic that you would say that as you're making video games for advanced ass systems. I do think technology may be getting a little, oh, you know, too big for its britches these days with all this crap about HD and stuff. I'm like, dude, if I can see what's going on, I'm happy with that. I don't, you know, I can, I can tell the difference between HD and standard, yeah. But 
I can't believe that people actually think that it's like a necessity these days. It's like, man, factory, factory, thank you for riding with us today. See you later, green train. Hope we meet again. I can't believe I'm up to ten minutes already. Lucas experienced the joy of riding a green-colored train. <laughs> That's awesome. Holy cow. So here we are at the factory, and I guess now, if you want to, you can come in and work and earn another 200 DP if you want, make your money back. But I say screw it. Oh, man, I'm out of time! Okay, see you next time. Bye.